released by Dallas, make it hurt. Hello everyone, my name is Walter Raglan and I am the CEO of Creative Media Vault based in Yokohama, Japan. I am currently working on the Wildfire Expanded Universe, which is a series of comics, games, and novels that I started creating a long time ago. And I've been working on building this universe ever since. The Wildfire Expanded Universe starts off with a series of comics called the Ryukage, which are based in ancient Japan. And later that story evolved into a sci-fi cyberpunk action thriller genre based on like comics and anime like Dragon Ball, other popular Japanese anime. All of the games that you'll find on my website are somehow connected to the main Wildfire storyline, which you can find in the original novel and the comic. One of the reasons why I created them is uh, because I really wanted to give people superheroes that um, they could relate to. When I was a child, I used to watch a lot of American cartoons, and my father had a huge library of Marvel and DC comics. But my family was a little poor, so we couldn't afford to buy video games. So what I used to do is I used to play video games at my friend's house, and I would go home and I would create my own video game concepts on paper, just um, using my imagination. And I got pretty good at them, but I always wanted to create video games in real life. But when I came to Japan, I thought it was a very good opportunity for me to get into that market. Well, I first came to Japan in 1995 as a foreign exchange student, uh, where I went to high school in Yokohama. And I really liked Japan, so I wanted to come back. I joined the US military for about six years. I finally was able to come back to Japan, where I was stationed in Yokosuka for my final two years of military service. And I've been here ever since. During my time in military service, I didn't have a lot of friends and I didn't have a lot to do. Uh, that's actually when I wrote my first novel, which is what most of my games on the website are based upon. I started uh, studying martial arts when I was a kid uh, with my uncle, and I grew up watching a lot of uh, Jet Li and like uh, Jackie Chan movies, uh, which also contributed a lot to my writing before I even got into anime. I did a lot of training when I was in the military, and I continue to uh, train myself uh, as a way of kind of focusing my mind. It also helped me with my creativity. Martial arts is a heavy influence um, in everything that I do. comics and my video games. I was heavily influenced by the 1990s X-Men show. When I was growing up, I noticed that there wasn't a lot of diversity for superheroes. That a lot of these superheroes tended to have a certain ethnicity. And I often wondered, what about people from other countries? What about people with different backgrounds? And I didn't really see so many people who actually look like me as uh, positive role models portrayed on um, American TV or in animation. So when I started writing my story, I really wanted to make sure that I included people with very diverse backgrounds, different cultures. So when you uh, play my video games, you'll notice that I always have a very diverse cast of characters because that is very important for me. It's how the real world works. Uh, we live with different people and they all have special abilities and different roles. So when you enter into my Wildfire Expanded Universe, I would like for you to find a character or somebody that you can relate to and find characters that they can kind of jive with. I want my game to be a place where everybody feels like they belong. When you go to my Creative Media Vault website, you'll see that I have a lot of games on there. And one of the main demo games that I'm working on right now is called CDULO Beyond the Outer Rim. That game is a spin-off of the novel. It's a very special game for me because it's a, a transition point between the original Ryukage storyline and the actual Wildfire main cast, which you'll find in the book. It's a very deep story with a lot of character development. 
but got a lot of action and a lot of martial arts. So if you love Japanese anime, you're definitely going to love this demo game. Uh, right now, I'm developing many different genres, creating demo games. Many of them are uh, Metroidvania style or uh, omnidirectional shooters. Eventually, I would like to move up to creating full-on RPG games, a uh, role-playing game based on these characters, because the world is so expansive and the characters and the lore are so deep. My ultimate dream is to create my own anime and video game production studio in Japan. I want to create a studio that's basically able to help uh, produce new talent. There are many talented creators in Japan, like both native Japanese and foreigners, who also have a very big dream like mine, to create their own video games, create their own comics. So I would like to create a studio that will eventually be open for them to help them realize their dreams as well. My original book is called Wildfire Legend of the Ryukage. It's a story about an ancient Japanese clan of mystical warriors who are designed to create balance in the world. However, uh, there's also an evil uh, organization of demons who are trying to break this balance. The wildfire storyline starts in ancient Japan and progresses way into a post-apocalyptic future where we will follow the descendants of uh, these six Ryukage clans as they continue to battle against the demons and alien forces off-world. I hope that uh, people will be inspired just to stop by the website and to uh, play the demo game. The games are very easy to play. Uh, they're designed for children, very fun to play as well. And many of them are very cute characters. You'll find a lot of characters that you can relate to. So on the website, uh, you'll find a link to the comic. If you would like to know more about the story and the lore of this universe, I highly recommend checking those out.